Hi everyone, I'm just with the rabbits. I'd already made a video to upload this week, but I thought that I would upload this one first because it's kind of one that needs to come up straight away. So yeah, the other one will be uploaded after it and it's just on a package that I received. But yeah, so I just wanted to quickly update you on the rabbits. So I've just got them free ranging at the moment. Um, the door's open from the run and the pigs are just running around the shed, but I now have a proper cat flap on the shed which I'll show you in my other video, so I won't show you it now. But I've locked it so that the rabbits can't get in the shed right now. Um, so they won't get into the guinea pigs. So yeah, so I've just got the bunnies out. Um, basically what I wanted to tell you is that Tinkerbell went to the vets today. Because, you know, a few weeks ago I said that she was losing weight. Well, it turned out that my rabbits had worms. So we wormed them all. And then things started getting better and Tink started putting weight on and Theo put lots of weight on too which was brilliant because he was quite small. Um, so yeah they all put weight on we thought oh this is fine we've got over that problem. But then um, Tink went downhill again and since then she has stopped eating hay, she stopped eating grass. The only thing she's really eating is dandelion leaves and like the leaves off these bushes and things. And she was eating the pellets fine but now she's even stopped eating them starting to get really bad so of course we took her to the vets and as predicted she has spurs on her teeth which is when the teeth they don't meet up properly so then they grow like outwards and they've ended up like digging into her cheeks which is causing pain when she eats so she's going in for an operation tomorrow so I just fancied making a little video on the rabbits playing out because she's not going to be here tomorrow and I'm going to miss her and yeah so I thought I'd make just a quick video um, so we went to the vets and she got pain relief so she's actually acting so much better than she has been. She's been so like sad earlier today. She was um, just sat there looking like, I don't know, she just didn't look herself and her eyes looked really like dull, not like bright and sparkly like they always are. Um, so yeah, she's not been herself. But the pain relief seems to have helped her and she's actually, seems she seems pretty good now. She's hopping around quite a bit and she seems to be enjoying this extra space. So yeah, um, I've not put the metal panels out. As you can see, I've actually penned off half my garden properly with the guinea pig run. Whoa, did I just miss that binky? Um, so this is the guinea pig run. That's it over there. And then this is the lid, but I've just split it into three pieces so I can pen off the garden. And then I've blocked up all the other spaces like there. I've just blocked it up there. And also around here, I've just blocked it up there so they can't go up that path. So yeah, so that's the update on Tinkerbell, so she's got to have an operation tomorrow to sort her teeth out. And I'm really worried about her because she is only 1.5 kilograms. She's been going up and down with her weight and it's just, it's just not very good at all. So yeah, she's 1.5 kilograms at the moment, but at the vets they told us that when she was spayed she was 2.6 kilograms. So she has gone down so much in three years. Um, I think she's probably a bit too overweight when she was spayed. But she's certainly gone down too, too much. So I want her at least two kilograms, maybe. Something like that. About 1.8 to 2 kilograms, I think, would be a healthy weight for Tinkerbell. So hopefully she's going to get her teeth sorted out and get better. But yeah, her brother, Mischief, who you'll probably remember from my videos, he had dental problems practically all his life. And sadly, he passed away from them after he got an abscess. Um, which couldn't be solved, it couldn't be fixed. It was absolutely awful, I was devastated. And I don't want the same to happen to his sister, so I really hope that we can get this sorted. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you them playing and I'll see if I can catch a few binkies on camera. Last time I let them free range, which was two days ago, Tinkerbell didn't free range at all, probably because she was so sad. But as she's had pain relief, maybe she will binky? Maybe? I don't know, because she's probably feeling a bit better. But as you can see, she's really bony, like my hand. It's like covers a whole body it doesn't use it didn't used to do that and like you can feel all the spine and the backbone here you can feel that so yeah she's not well at all I used to be at but apart from the losing weight and not eating there's not been any other symptoms like runny eyes in fact there was a bit of drooling under her chin but usually I knew when Miss Chief needed a dental because his eyes ran but hers didn't so I just had to like watch really carefully to make sure she didn't lose weight but she did lose weight so it's going to be her first dental operation, so fingers crossed it goes well. She's had an anaesthetic before when she was spayed, obviously. But as she's so small, I am really worried. So if anyone could please just wish her some luck, um, that would be great. 
Oi, what are you doing? Please, Binky Tink. I so wanted to Binky, it would be so good. I don't think she will. She's too small. <laughs> She's too skinny. It's nice to see her happily running about, though, because she wasn't doing that two days ago. All this morning. So that pain relief has done so much for her. It was like a little injection in the neck, and it seems to have made her better. But yeah, I'm kind of just rambling on now. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you them. Hello, Theo. Let's go see her. Where's Hector gone? <laughs> oh, he's over there. He doesn't realise he can't get back into the shed. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cute. So yeah, they can't get back into the shed, but there is a carrier in the run at the moment with hay in. <laughs> wow, he's so active. Um, so they can go and get some hay if they want. But yeah, I will be putting the pigs back where they live and putting the bunnies ooh, <laughs> back in the shed later. So yeah. Binky again, so cute. I'll just film them for a bit so you can see the binkies. <laughs> Whoa! I'm trying to watch them, um, so sorry if I missed them on camera. <laughs> you crashed! I don't want to make this video too long, but I just thought, yeah, it'd be nice to see them. I can usually tell when they're gonna binky! <laughs> and I can usually tell because they suddenly like, stop what they're doing and then do like two hops, and then suddenly they go mad, so it's really cute. I love bunny binkies. And if you don't know what that means, if your rabbit's doing that, it means that they're really happy. And to be able to binky, they need quite a lot of space. So my three don't really binky in their run, even though it's pretty big. So that's why I like it when they can free range, because then they can do like massive binkies, as you just saw demonstrated by Theo and Hector. I just wish Tink would do some binkies, but she's sat over there eating. But bless her, she's not been able to eat hay and pellets. I'm not surprised she's sat there eating. She must be pretty hungry. But yeah, so I'm going to upload this video pretty much straight away. So... I better go before it gets too late because I do need to do a bit of revision as well. So yeah. And if you don't know my bunnies, this is Hector. This is Theo. And of course that's Tinkerbell. Who will be going for an operation tomorrow. So wish her luck. Tinkerbell, say hello to the camera. You're so cute. You're cute. You're cute. Okay, so look, all together. All happy. Let's hope that you will stay happy once you've had this operation and you'll be with them back safe and sound. Right, so yeah, thanks for watching and bye.